I feel many of you could be moving forward from a situation here, Five of Wands. This is conflict where you were trying to compromise with someone who was just never really giving in. But I feel someone could be bored, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel you're bored with compromising. You could be looking for a new start, starting over. But I also feel now that you are wanting a new beginning, someone is wanting to start over with you. I feel this is someone who caused a lot of disappointment hmm. through rivalry, conflict, jaded ways, page of swords. For many of you, this is someone who is coming out like a a problem, like um, at the bottom of your shoe. This is someone who has become an obstacle, someone you feel should be out of your energy by now. Someone thought they got what they wanted, but they lost what they needed when they disconnected or put some type of obstacle between the two of you. I feel this is someone who is now sitting in a space where they're still stubborn, but they're knowing they can't move forward. Mm, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Five of Wands, as well as this Knight of Pentacles is letting them know this energy is wanting to start over, but they're stagnated. They're needing some type of balance, especially here with the Temperance card. I feel this is someone who is lacking a sense of ambition, especially when it comes to what they need to do when it comes to you. Two of Pentacles is letting me know this energy is under pressure. Overthinking a matter here with the Hermit card. This energy is isolated, but doing something strategically. Mm. Yeah. This energy is going through a dark night of the soul. They're full of anxiety. They're empty, but they're going through some type of awakening due to their arrogant energy here of King of Swords. This is someone who is needing to clear something away, and they know it. I feel this energy is spilling judged by a group of people. Someone could be bringing something to their attention and it's becoming annoying. This energy is wanting to find a sense of balance, but this energy is coming out as hmm, non-committal. I feel when this energy gets bored, things get real heavy. They're living beyond their means, spending money that doesn't belong to them. This energy is and stable please uh take it how it resonates that it's not for everyone but someone is definitely drowning in what they created they're reckless someone is coming out someone is coming out as a fool someone who is reckless when it comes to their intentions reckless when it comes to healing i feel this is someone who you have a need for caution I feel it is very necessary when it comes to someone who has failed to accept something when it comes to them being out of sync. I feel there's disharmony here with the Two of Cups energy, Empress energy. Someone's out of sync when it comes to you. Something is blocked when it comes to your energy. This is someone you may have at a distance because you feel it's necessary. Not because you don't love them. It's because this energy has proven in several ways their love is questionable. Hmm. This is someone who needs to go within Four of Cups to release some type of remorse or regret, resentment. This energy needs to be focused on the gratitude they need to have for you to have some type of start over. But I feel something is stagnated here with the world card because someone has yet to truly learn a lesson when it comes to you. This energy is going through a lot of loss. They're in some type of transition, all because of some type of conflict. I feel this energy is not having just conflict with you, but also conflict with others. As I said before, this energy is not really resonating with what others are saying about them or saying to them. This energy has become a bit impulsive because of their anxieties. This energy doesn't like the way others think of them. This energy is wanting others to embrace them because of all they went through. When I already sense those around them, I already sense they are the reason for their issues. I feel there's a sense of justice coming for an injustice. Wow. This energy is going through some type of internal conflict due to their losses. I feel their losses is also connected to you. Wow. High Priestess energy. Someone is wanting to move forward, but they're not wanting to move forward without you. This energy is in conflict about what was given because they didn't realize how easy it could be taken away. King of Cups energy, someone's in a mood, in their emotions, they're paranoid. 
someone has a fear of failure and I feel failing with you is a part of the loss because it's big bigger than they thought it would be six of swords someone's in transition growing pains wow unfinished business because of an illusion this is someone who's brought a lot of confusion into their life and I feel part of that confusion and illusion is why they're conflicted about you using you as a scapegoat hmm. I feel this is someone who just never really saw the magic in you until it was already gone. Now someone is trying to get something together yet still isolated because they're in a negative mindset, three of cups. So someone's in a negative mindset being judged or going through judgment. Someone is regretting the conflict they brought your way because they feel like they need you. Mm. Yet this energy is going through judgment because they couldn't be in the present with you. They couldn't accept what was given now they're in transition because of the illusion that they presented nine of swords energy as well someone definitely wants to see the light at the end of the tunnel but they feel like something cannot be seen something cannot be presented this energy is uncertain but also reckless many of you may see this energy as a dangerous risk because of all they're taking you through yet this energy is wanting you to see them as something or someone you can't be without someone doesn't want you to move on but there's too many rumors there's too much gossip i feel you t you know too much to move on for from something or someone wow that has no drive no focus no commitment i feel there's a lot of fear because of how something looks this energy is all about the vanity they're very emotional about their deceptions having to heal someone doesn't want to heal because they know they have to deal with the pain and the grief of what they've done and what they're doing someone's still lost but still wanting something from you mm. they're restless four swords lets me know someone is restless queen of pentacles is letting me know they're jealous because they're not getting what they want not like they used to the energy of greed this energy is driven by their ego, and this is why you're cautious, you know that. There's doubt here when it comes to the star. Hmm. Spiritual blocks. I feel you are healing or trying to recover from some damage, but I feel this energy could be keeping a grudge towards you because of your distance when you're only trying to heal. Hmm. I feel dealing with them is like a power struggle. You want to love them, but they make it hard for you to do that. This is someone who makes it hard to love because they're misaligned because of their greed. Hmm. And the fact that they have a lack of follow through. This is why there's challenges in their life, but they are blaming it on you. I feel this is someone who is wanting to break a cycle, but they're not putting in any type of effort. They're resisting it, but it's only causing an ending, a harsh ending here with the death card. But I feel Ace of Cups, they're frustrated because of it. Because they can't make a choice that makes any sense. Someone is frustrated. Blame it on others, not just you, but it's their fears that truly hinder them. Someone is in a space where they really don't know what to do. Come back to you, call you, but they feel you won't surrender. I feel someone is coming from a very greedy or selfish space, especially when it comes to the energy of love, because the love you give is not the same love that they have consistently given. I feel this is someone who has caused some type of hindrance, not only for themselves, but also for anyone that has tried to love them. Five of Wands is letting me know it's only been conflict. Something has only been a battle for you. This is why someone is going through judgment. Mm. Wow. Feeling stuck, irresponsible. This is why someone is feeling like you won't believe them. You won't receive when it comes to them. Wow. The feeling they bring is heavily emotional because they don't like the feeling of rejection. I feel this is someone who is mentally exhausted for a sword. Mm. So, as I said before, this is someone who is feeling lost because of what is lost. Wow. But I feel it's the fact that they are focused on the negativity is the reason they're coming out as stubborn, dative irrational 
this is someone who is dreaming of a feminine energy this doesn't have to be male or female please take it how it resonates but this could just be someone who is coming out as a helper or someone who nourished a relationship someone who knew what they were doing but this energy was always lost it how to care for you love you or even maintain this connection i feel this is someone who thinks of you daydreams about you thinks about you in many ways wow because they believe that you were meant to be you were the one wow but in so many ways you were just the one to put up with it no one else would i feel there is a love that you have for this energy that no one else truly had this is why they think about you often because no one else measures up in the same way something about the situation was innocent but I feel something is now lost because of their jaded ways and how something was able to spread about them. Wow. This energy is coming out as someone who is still watching you. This could be on social media or through a third party energy, but I feel this is someone who is still not compromising. Mm. Wow. So what I'm getting here is someone is thinking about you whether that is day or night, someone knows that what they have with you is unique or special. This is why they think of you or this is why they watch you. I feel there's innocence involved or someone feels like what they have with you is no longer innocent. And they're upset that you let go, you're disconnected. Someone is wanting to reconnect, but they also feel that you have raised your vibration or your thoughts about them in some type of way that you're not giving in or letting go of what they did. Wow. Someone feels like you're going to always bring up what they did. You're never going to let something go. I feel this is why someone left something in the air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, please see how it resonates. But someone is wanting to ground themselves. But there's too much drama, anxiety. Someone knows they need to talk. Someone knows all they need to do is talk to you. But someone is too angry, too resentful to even listen, to even give in. This is why there's no communication. And it's just been an emotional roller coaster for someone who is just used to you chasing, compromising, giving in. I feel this is someone who is somewhat annoyed at the fact that there is distance or you're no longer in reach the way that you used to. But I feel this is someone who has just become too annoying to deal with now that you have seen the truth in them or raised your vibration. Someone is daydreaming daydreaming about who you are now mm. someone wants to put their hands on you someone wants to be next to you someone wants to be in position the way that they used to but they feel like you're you're protecting yourself or it's just game over you've already moved on it'll be too hard to kiss and make up when it comes to a situation that is an overkill someone thought that you would chase this situation but it was only because they were in denial in denial when it comes to the truth because something is truly toxic and they could be triggered someone didn't realize how much they would miss you for many of you this is someone who truly misses you and for others they miss the help they miss your resources. They miss how hard you work to make them better. Hmm. Wow. How hard you work to make this connection so much of what it was. Because without you, it was nothing. But I feel someone's in denial about you moving on. Someone thought something was temporary. Someone thought this was a temporary pause. But I feel something you did or said put them in a space where they're regretting what they did or said to you now. Someone misses you but still gives in to these desires. Wow. So for many of you, it doesn't seem like they're upset or sad. But this distance... And even the memories is starting to get to them. Someone does see you as wish fulfillment. And I feel something unexpected is about to take place. That's going to bring a lot of emotion. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please take it how it resonates. But someone didn't expect something to be so emotional. Someone didn't expect to be so attached to you. Because they never thought or... They never felt the energy of any type of true connection or soulmate. 
For many of you, this is someone who didn't know how strong of a pillar you were in their life. As I sense, wherever you are, you were meant to be. Someone doesn't like the feeling of the fact that you have moved on or even let go. Wow, Eight of Pentacles is even out there. So for many of you, you feel like it's too much to give in to them, to compromise, listen. Someone doesn't like, like the fact that you're not compromising to reconnect or doing all you can. But it's their lack of ambition that causes you to be suspicious of their actions. Coming together, seeing them as a soulmate in so many ways, it doesn't seem like they're triggered or regretful for their actions of a third party or even the fact that they tried to heal or want to heal. Many of you feel like they just haven't learned a lesson yet. For many of you, I feel like they have already burned this bridge. Wow. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please take it how it resonates. There's a lot of emotion here. Wow. All because of the lies, deception, heartbreak. Many of you had to cleanse your energy from a love affair. So for many of you, someone just wasn't seeing the signs or waking up to the fact that what they have with you was truly genuine but I feel they are starting to see it now because of what they're going through it's starting to trigger them this third party is causing them to see something they're having dreams someone needy is needing to pay attention to their dreams and even their nightmares because they have plenty I feel you could be in someone's dream someone could be daydreaming about you or thinking about you in many ways but I feel they're needing to pay attention to it because you are someone from their past life so from what I get from this you were meant to be in their life yet I sense this energy still hasn't come to that reality they feel it they just haven't come to a space to believe it but I sense in many ways you were a big part of a reason they were able to see something for what it was. Hmm. Being with you, someone learned the difference. I feel many of you know they haven't learned a lesson when it comes to something. This is why there's anxiety. There's a lot of deception and lies when it comes to a confession. This energy is just too angry to show you they can listen or even change, communicate. It's just too much of an uh, emotional roller coaster. There's too much talk. There's too much gossip when it comes to who they're dealing with, what they're dealing with. Many of you know enough that this energy would never truly make sense at all because of how they choose to deal with life. I feel someone is too angry to listen. Someone's too caught up in their own ego and pride, believing they know too much or they know enough to get something to go their way. But something is still left up in the air when it comes to someone who may never change when it comes to unions, connections, relationships, and even friendships. As this is someone who is just not dependable enough. Hmm. It always seems like they always forget who help them get where they are. Wow. This is why there's talk because of the secrets. So for many of you, someone is wanting others to believe that they're innocent in a situation. They're trying to control something when it comes to how they dealt with the relationship they have with you. They know they put no effort into an apology because they're undecided about their truth their values or what they want you to believe. Someone's still sitting in their ego and for many of you, they never expected things to fall apart and this is why they're sitting in this energy, believing something is owed to them when you owe them nothing. Wow. <laughs> I feel for many of you, you never expected things to fall apart. You never expected this energy to turn into the person that they are, but things are stuck stagnated, paused, or delayed for a reason when it comes to a commitment where someone is always giving in to temptation because they're banking on the fact that they can mislead you. Wow. Someone is banking on the fact that they can get you to see things their way. This is why they're being inconsistent. But someone wasn't banking on the fact that they would be bored 
bored with chasing a thrill. But I feel it's the patterns of their life that's causing them to fall apart or become something that they claim they would never become. I feel this is someone who is crossing the wires to mislead you. But I feel this is someone who is wanting your validation. Someone is wanting the energy that you bring and the history of emotion and love that is attached to you. I feel this is someone who is thinking about love bombing you. But I feel all they can offer is sabotage, destruction. They're still blocked. Someone feels they can unblock their stagnation by connecting themselves to you but I feel this energy is still coming out as distant non-emotional aloof cold this third party energy as well so someone has yet to close the door here this is why something is not moving when it comes to you and another reason why they don't have access so for some of you you feel like this energy could be rejecting you but they're not this energy is in a place in their life where a lot of things are being thrown at them and i feel it's in an effort to keep them busy at a distance for from you they don't belong in a space where they deserve you i feel there's too many secrets when it comes to someone who is playing the victim there's too many trust issues when it comes to someone who is in solitude someone is in alone for a reason something will become clear very soon someone could be dealing with a false environment i feel someone is misleading you because they don't know what to tell you what to tell you about what they are going through what they have been through or what they're causing in other people's lives because for many of you this energy is still in a space where they're intentionally causing havoc or breaking hearts i feel this energy is at a loss when it comes to you because you're the one that got away or you're the one they just can't fool i no energy here from this deck motives anxiety so for many of you this is someone who is holding back wow. hoping you ignore something when it comes to how they hurt you so as i said before this is someone who is full of strategy i feel in some way they feel entitled to something but they are holding back because they're hoping that you ignore something whether that be how they hurt you or how they wanting you to ignore how they treated you this is someone who is lost Hmm. because they're too comfortable with making excuses i feel there could also be allegations here rumblings of something that is coming to the surface i feel someone is putting out a lot of energy here and they're not realizing how others are also seeing them as toxic you're not the only one you're not the only one they've heard and you're not the only one who knows that they are unhealthy, abusive, gaslighting everyone or just in a space where they're too dysfunctional to see that they are the problem or they are the issue. In victim mode, chasing a thrill. So for me, if you, someone is third, with a third party or bored with a third party this energy is playing the victim when it comes to something that is falling apart or blowing up in their face i feel this energy is in solitude but not wanting to be i feel this energy is in solitude and cold about it someone wants you to just let them back in no excuses no explanation i feel this is someone who may have lost a bit of who they once were with you they lost their power wow someone lost the power of emotion this is why they're under pressure obligated in another situation or even stressed out i feel whatever they fell into is their karma because they are toxic and so is the situation they're under pressure in i feel this is someone who's going through karma a storm a storm of unstable energy consequences for their actions this is someone who's going through upheavals and losing self even if they have already lost self, I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space where misery loves company. Mm. I feel this is someone you tried to be logical with, but it was hard to do when they're always being irrational, pretending something isn't that big of a deal. I feel this energy wanted you to feel like you didn't have enough or they wasn't satisfied with what was given but i feel it was the best that was ever given to them hmm. they know that and this is why they sit 
in misery because of it. Someone doesn't want you to know the shame and the pain that they're dealing with right now. It's something that they never thought that they would ever have to deal with. And this is why they're not being logical about the storm, logical about their pain, or logical about their karma, consequences, and lessons that will only bring justice in time. I feel this is guilt that will soon lay on their heart because this is unfinished business, all because of their lies and deceit. Someone truly failed you, even if, they, even if they're trying to trap you. So I feel like someone deceived you after realizing they couldn't trap you. I feel this energy gave into some very suspicious or petty ways. Hmm. Wow. Believing the grass was greener on the other side, someone's being very childish about the direction they were taking the situation. Someone was just too scared, too unresolved. Someone just didn't have the tools that was needed to truly give in and love you, which is why the only outcome would have been to lose you. I feel this is someone who allowed their deceptions to get in their way of their ability to love you. I feel for many of you, you feel like they had no love for you at all. But I feel you are the only one that got close enough. Hmm. This energy is just too comfortable in destruction and pain. It draws them in. And this is why it always feels so heartbreaking, so gut-wrenching to give love. Because it's something that is truly never received. I feel this energy is going through a lot of endings here. And this is why they're wanting to reach out to you. Someone is wanting to make something clear about the, the breakup. Someone is hoping that your heart, your love, the energy that was once given, it hasn't reached its end. Yet I sense even though you knew something was going to fall apart at some point, you never knew it would fall apart like this. And for others, you knew something was off, but never expected what was given. What was given when it comes to someone who is so miserable and giving the same energy? Let's get a final deck here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying this reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's get some final energy here. For many of you, you feel like this energy is always going to be in a space of misery. All because of the energy that was given, especially in the end, there's a lot of destruction that many of you feel may be beyond repair, but I feel if this energy just had the will to speak to you on a positive level, on an adult level, without placing blame, pointing the finger, hmm, verbally assaulting you, please take it however it resonates. But I feel many of you are just too smart to fall for it. This energy is just too confused. Hmm, too confused to let something go. Wow. So for many of you, I feel like there's a lot of energy of someone trying to control something, whether it's their irrational mind or someone trying to control you in some type of way, but you're trusting your heart, you're trusting your intuition, you're trusting your spirit. I feel many of you could be praying someone speaks the truth, finds their way, hmm. but you're not hanging on to this dysfunctional way of thinking, this dysfunctional situation. I feel for many of you, it's time for a karmic cycle to end, and this energy is not ready for it, but you are. As they make you feel at times, things would work, or you were finally getting through to them, but unfortunately, you never truly did. Hmm. I feel this is someone who almost made it too hard to trust anyone else after all they put you through. After all the compromise, someone allows something to end like this. So much destruction, pain, so many tears. Someone heard you cry but never tried to fix it. Wow. This is why someone knows something won't be easy to fix. And this is why they're at a distance hoping that something will fix itself. But this energy needs to put forth the energy themselves. As you may have had to distance yourself to save yourself. Which is why they intend to focus on what they shouldn't focus on here. They're always focused on the wrong thing. But I feel you're coming out with a clean slate here. Retribution. You prayed for it. This is how you end this karmic cycle. After you speak your truth, something ends. And this ends under destruction when it comes to confusion. I feel someone wanted you to doubt yourself. Someone wanted to break your trust. But it's all because of their narcissistic way of thinking. 
which is why I began to to focus on your reaction to the pain and chaos they caused rather than how things got like this. But I feel this narcissist is getting to a space where they need that attention. They need that external validation, confirmation from a divine energy. Someone's wanting you to tap in or put them back in position. Someone is wanting you to give away your power, wanting you to tolerate the abuse, tolerate their mistakes and harsh ways of thinking. But I feel many of you are not wanting to give in to something that is already out of control because many of you already know love. Love shouldn't hurt. Many of you know that love shouldn't hurt and this energy is not wanting you to give in to something. But as I said before, many of you are not giving in to the dysfunction or the confusion. Yet this energy really doesn't know which way to go because they're too self-absorbed to realize how they took you for granted used and abused this situation causing it to be unhealthy many of you had to make a choice to walk away walk away from something or someone that became a complete nightmare but I feel someone is just too empty inside to really acknowledge something when it comes to no love being given no love can be received this is someone who is just not deep enough to see it I feel there's a lot of deep deeply rooted insecurities or issues when it comes to someone who is emotionally unavailable or not seeing a truth because they're too invested in pride or how they're perceived someone is not wanting to run back to you when they know they should mm. wow for many of you you have already prayed for something that is coming your way this is why you're trusting your intuition and many of you are not going back no matter what this person offers or what they have to say something is different about you and it's plain to see something was an injustice something is clearly in balance when it comes to someone who is a complete nightmare for you and they've been that way for so long that they also want you to believe that something just wasn't a big deal something shouldn't be taken too seriously just to make you feel you're being irrational or over dramatic when truthfully what you're thinking and feeling is truly on point they're just hoping you doubt yourself just to continue this toxic or dysfunctional cycle i feel this is someone you realize just maybe too empty inside mm. But I feel the more you find the strength to heal from the trauma, find love, hmm. someone will become more heartless. But that will be the point of a true end because it will be game over for you. I feel it will be game over for this situation while you find your true potential or walk into a new space of love, a new team, a new environment that fulfills you or brings out the best in you. And this energy will only be obsessed. Mm. Obsessed all in their head because they can't get over you. 